They were here before by Corinne Samuels, Chapter 9, Shani. I feel like I'm walking in a daze, wide awake in a dream. It took us 18 hours to get here, and it was worth every second of discomfort on that cramped flight. I am so overjoyed that I barely remember the flight. This must be exactly how mothers feel when they look at their newborn for the first time. They forget the malaise of the pregnancy and the anguish of delivery. Even Glow didn't bother me as much on the flight. I actually made an effort to learn her name. As it turns out, my name is better. Her name is way too ordinary for her flamboyance. We land at Johannesburg International Airport to the rhythm of a torrential downpour. But by the time the Uber arrives, it has stopped and the air is breathtakingly fresh. The air feels like it has been filtered and purified just for us. Definitely a clear sign of a welcome. And embrace even. You know how we always clean our house in anticipation of an important visitor? I perceive this as a good omen, which lifts my already elevated spirits, as I was vibing at an unusually high level. Also, when the lady at customs said, San Bonani, with a huge smile, I felt that deeply. I am not sure yet why, but I just do. We're booked to, to stay in the Protea Hotel in Pretoria, about 33 miles from Johannesburg, a condominium-inspired building with all the modern amenities which I have come to love. Glow and I share the unit and we have all the amenities of modern living, free Wi-Fi, huge rooms, comfortable furnishing, two bedrooms, a kitchenette, living and dining area, and a good-sized bed bathroom. It really did not feel like a visit. It felt like a home away from home. I feel like I am home. Like I had traveled all my life to return home. Back home in North Carolina, we have a house. Well, my parents have a house. But when I moved to New York, I live in a condo, so I got accustomed to the convenience of a condo. Therefore, this setup for the next three months suits me just fine. Our unit is extremely clean. Not a single bed bug in sight. Apparently, Glow has a phobia. The best part is that from our room, we have a spectacular view of the city. Surprisingly, Pretoria is undeniably a modern city with all the fanfare, but without the huge wall of cement. I can still see magnificent trees interspersed among the buildings. Our room is bright with tons of natural light from the huge balcony and three substantial windows. Trees, natural light, fresh air. I am in my natural habitat. There is also an office suite with computers all neatly organized to reflect the modern office. A swimming pool, get this, a rooftop swimming pool. Outdoor patio for dining. Just absolutely amazing decor everywhere. Clearly, Whoever designed and built this hotel had me in mind. That being said, this property has seen better days and to the super finicky, it would be problematic, but not for me. I am finally home. The next day, I'm anxious to take a look around the city, so I get up early as usual and go for a stroll. I don't wander too far from our building before our local guide arrives. It doesn't even bother me that no one came to meet us at the airport. Glow has been livid since last night. Oh well, whatevs. I am accustomed to doing my own thing without any guidance or supervision, and I actually enjoy the freedom to choose my own schedule and go at my own pace, be a tourist, for at least a few days. On my early morning stroll, I come across the most glorious trees I have ever seen in my life. They are purple, there's a sea of purple as far as the eye can see. Mind you, purple has never been one of my favorite colors. But this tree, the jacaranda tree, is breathtakingly impressive. Interestingly, I discover that Johannesburg is home to the largest man-made urban forest in the world. Well, maybe one of the largest. I also discover a flowering plant which I've never seen before. Lobostimum fructicose sus endemic to south africa and has over 30 varieties and many colors 
but I mostly see baby blue and light pink. Trees, lush vegetation. I couldn't ask for a more perfect spot. However, poor Glow is not faring so well. Allergies. Later that day, we meet up with a team from the local company that we will be in partnership with. They apologize profusely for not having anyone meet us at the airport. They also said that our local guide and third team member had been called away on urgent family business and would be back the following day. In the meantime, they brought us up to speed on the areas that we would be covering on this trip. I could listen to them speak for hours. I so enjoy their accents, which seem to be a mixture of British and their indigenous language, perfectly complementing each other, such a sophisticated mashup. There is also a pragmatic way to their speech, to the point, no place for slangs and words like kinda or sorta. Once that meeting, meet and greet concludes, we go for lunch. I am not too sure of the food yet, so I choose an American dish. I figured there will be enough time to gradually taste their food. So why get sick on the first day? We turn in early that night, jet lag kicking our butts, along with the time difference. South Africa being seven hours ahead of the East Coast. There is so much to process, plus I need to meditate as well to sufficiently ground myself in my new environment so that I can take full advantage of this opportunity. I know how I tend to live in my head, so I decided before getting on the plane to enjoy every minute. Usually, once I become emotionally overwhelmed, I retreat into my head and stay there until I feel safe. But the world doesn't wait for people to get over their issues. So I have missed many opportunities by chilling there. Sometimes I miss whole conversations. This is going to be the most memorable trip for me ever. So I am definitely going to be present for each and every moment. I just have to be really vigilant and not allow myself to be inundated by other people's emotions, which is going to be a huge challenge, having spent most of my life in my head. But I'm going to do it. It is going to be exhausting, but I'm going to rise to this challenge. Humans don't just unlearn years of conditioning overnight, but it is embedded in the human spirit to win. And this I will. My folding days are over. <laughs>